All right, YouTube, what is up today? I'm gonna be showing you how I did this design right here. It's basically uh, arrows, two arrows to be exact, and deer antlers. I have no idea where people get these ideas from, um, but I'm confident enough to try new things. So, to get started, uh, she already came in with her hair parted. I did not do her last design. So, uh, you know, it might have been a tiny bit off from the top part, but I did not want to take her hair up any higher. And now, if you saw that picture right there, that's pretty much the picture that she brought in. And I went ahead and got started. And I started off by doing a big X. And uh, pretty much those are the, the sticks of the arrow. I don't know if it has a proper name, but yeah, it's the stick, okay? And I did the arrowhead and now I am doing the feathers at the end. And uh, as soon as we do that, we just start doing the deer antlers. And it, it, honestly, I'm using a stencil. And using a stencil really helps to uh, progress my movement when I'm actually hitting it with my trimmers and my razor blade. Because instead of randomly guessing the next move my next move is already predetermined so now i'm just gonna go ahead and clean the outside a little bit i'm using the slimline pro li's a uh, very good machine for doing designs i also have the uh, cordless outliners i did a review on those um but for designs i honestly feel that the slimline pro li's are better because the head is smaller and it allows you to get into tighter spaces allowing you to do a bit more detail in tight corners um, but pretty much yeah we're just gonna go outside the lines and we're gonna leave what we drew there and uh, it should be very simple I pretty much this idea came from tattoo artists so tattoo artists they use a stencil they stencil out the work and they put ink on your skin before they put the needle. So it's the same concept here. Pretty much I drew on someone's head and then I use aftershave to erase it if I don't like it. Then I draw it again when the, when the head is dry. And uh, pretty much it works. Um, I've done plenty of designs and you'll see plenty more of my designs at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, pretty much, I got my idea from tattoo artists. They use a stencil, well I'm gonna use one too. Uh, some other barbers say this is cheating, but unless they're doing designs like me, then maybe they should use this product. So this isn't a best design, but it is an awkward request for me. Um, <clears throat> because I never would've thought, hey, I'm gonna do two arrows and deer antlers. I've never done deer antlers. I've done arrows, but for me, it was just an awkward request. So yeah, pretty much we're just gonna keep on going outside those lines. We're getting into the territory of those deer antlers now. And I get in the way of the camera, guys. So I'm so sorry. So I've been, I edited this video and I chopped it up so that you guys just don't see my back for a lot. So we're actually gonna do like a pretty noticeable jump in a minute here. And uh, it's gonna avoid you guys seeing my back a lot. So pretty much right here, bam. It's a bit of a, of a jump, but you guys get the whole point of it. And right here too, it's just fast forwarding in, in bits and pieces. And now I am gonna start shaving it down. I like to use Shapu blades. That's the razor blade that I use. And, uh, but that's gonna be after I fade those edges out a bit right here. See, I'm fading that top part out. And uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm not a good camera guy. <laughs> I can't cut hair and record at the same time, apparently. So uh, it looks blurry right now, but that problem will be fixed in just a few seconds. What I did was I sprayed her with some shaving solution by I Love Being a Barber. And, uh, it works real good. It's clear and it's, it sprays on. So I'll, I'll put that link in the description if you guys are interested in that. And then I'm gonna use Kiss Express in a bit. 
and I put it on the back of a business card and I'm using like some sort of makeup brush. I don't remember the exact name. It might be like an eyeliner brush or an eyeshadow brush. I really don't remember guys. But uh, if you go to the makeup section in any store, um, you should be able to uh, find a makeup brush similar to the one that I'm using. Or just get like a like a cheap paint brush, you know, from like an arts and crafts store. I mean, that'll probably work too. And now, as you can see right there, it's really making it pop more. That is why I use color enhancements. Uh, her hair is not perfectly dark. She has like a lighter brown hair. It's not dark brown. It's literally just like standard brown. And uh, honestly, the best results for designs if you don't want to use color enhancements is don't do it on blonde people. Don't do it on brown haired people. Do it on, on people that have very thick black dark hair. Um, because if you're doing a design on blonde hair, it's just not going to look that good, honestly. Um, you're barely going to see it. So that is why I use color enhancements. It makes the design pop. Designs, they're already a bold statement. You're, put, you're putting a bold statement on someone's head. That's the crown no one ever takes off. So might as well make the design pop more. Give it more definition. So pretty much we're done. That's it. The design did not take me that long. I edited this video because you guys are going to be looking at my back a lot. I took about 30 minutes on this haircut and I charged this girl 35 and she still gave me a five dollar tip so she paid me 40 bucks so I made 40 bucks in 30 minutes not that bad and pretty much this is how I do my designs guys um, I draw on the design and then I use aftershave to erase it if I didn't like what I what I drew on I could just start all over by erasing it all so yeah pretty much this is how I do designs. I'm trying to show everyone how to do it simpler, easier, you know, uh, better, more detailed and defined. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, look at this bird right here. You know, you guys can obviously see. So if you guys have any questions, like what kind of razor blades I use or anything, any question, hit me up in the comment section. I do my best to respond to every single comment. If you're new, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews like this, uh, videos. Um, I just did another review on a light ring. And uh, like my video, man. Thank you very much. And uh, peace.